Welcome to today's video quick tip. Uh, today, in just a few minutes, we're going to learn about creating private variables in your JavaScript. So because of JavaScript's dependence upon globals, uh, it can be easy to forget that it's actually quite simple to create private variables in your projects. So uh, there's a handful of different methods. Everyone kind of prefers uh, their own their own form. I'm going to show you one, maybe two, if we have time. So this first example, we'll create a singleton, and we'll call it obj, and that's going to be equal to a function. But not just the function, we want it equal to what is returned from that function. So I'll go ahead and execute it. And we're going to create a return object. And only the methods and properties within this return object will be available to us from the obj variable. So anything outside of it, like right here, or priv1, we will not have access to. Okay, uh, We can create another one. We can. Some people prefer to prefix the underscore to remind you that it is a private. Not going to worry about that for now, but we'll do private two. And now, why don't we return, for example, maybe a method? We'll call it do something, and let's create a property, some prop. Okay, so we're going to do two here. The first one will be alert, and we're to do this dot some prop. Uh, this is going to refer to the returned object. So in this case, that'll echo out, echo out. That'll alert some value. And if we were to do another one, why don't we do alert? And because uh, we're, we're within this returned object, we still have access to these variables above, like normal. So we can do alert priv1, and that will be private1. OK, so now all we have to do here is do obj, and let's call one of these in here. So we'll do obj do something. And if we preview it, we're going to get private1. So, as we would expect, we have access to these variables outside of the returned object, even after it's returned. So let's do another one. Let's comment that out and bring this one up. And we're going to preview this, and if it works right, we should see this value right here. And uh, there we go. So now, if we were to try to do something like priv1 and access one of those properties, we're going to uh, see something like undefined, if anything. And it's because we don't have access to that. So that's the one method. That's the one I prefer the most. Another one is uh, using constructors. So you would do like var um, uh, function my constructor. And we would do this dot some val equals some value. And then if you wanted to create a private variable, you can just prefix var. So it's another var equals another value. And then we'll do var my obj equals new my constructor and now if we do alert my obj dot uh, some val let's see what that does and we get some value but now let's try to do another val or another var and we're going to get undefined so that is uh, another method and I'm willing to talk more in the comments but I'm out of time so thank you for watching bye bye